see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hidden love Scanny ass bitch there What's good YouTube? It's your boy V Skinny. Alright, this is a video. Uh, I had to check something out. Um, I watched the video. I didn't watch it thoroughly because you know what I'm saying? Nigga be fucked up. So, I'm going to re-watch this shit. Um, the thing about it, the dude's name is Lil Ominous. And he's going off on Lil Pump and Smoke Perp. You know what I'm saying? Because they both a duo. But, alright, the story, the backstory of what I know from it Lil Ominous is Lil Pump's cousin. Like, if you look at him, you can tell that they're somewhat related. Or a nigga's just lying. I don't know. But, yeah, you can tell these niggas related. And then Smoke Perp and Lil Pump got introduced to each other through Lil Ominous. And then they tried to play him, like, try to say he was too old to be with them and other shit. You know what I'm saying? But that was my short little description type shit. I'm gonna let my nigga Jabal here tell y'all what's going on, and then we're gonna, we gonna go from there. Today we have a new video now. It's coming from Lil Ominous, Lil Pump, and Smoke Perp. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering who the hell is Lil Ominous, well, he's actually Lil Pump's cousin and has been around him for a very long time, obviously, right? He's his cousin. And, well, he came out saying that Lil Pump and also Smoke Perp have completely forgot about him and have not gave him the credit that he deserves because if you guys have seen one of Lil Pump's older interviews, then you would know that Lil Pump and Smoke Perp was actually introduced by Lil Ominous because Lil Ominous brought Lil Pump around Smoke Perp. Yeah, you're gonna see more of that in the video, but that just goes to, like, show it right there, like... Because they kept saying uh, a anonymous friend, like, we brought him around. Like, he ain't really... Smoke Perp, he wasn't really saying... Hold on, hold on. My video, like, I got the booth shit, you know what I'm saying? So I got to use my other motherfucking phone right here to give me some some of that good light, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me see how I'm looking. Okay, shit. All right, but yeah. Damn, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about. But yeah, man, let's get back into the video. Cause out. Well, look, I, I do believe this shit, though. Pump and also Smoke Perp, because if it wasn't for him, then Smoke Perp and Lil Pump wouldn't be a duo. We all know that Smoke Perp and Lil Pump are like best friends. Well, after being quiet for a whole year on this entire topic, he's finally took to Instagram to let everybody know that Smoke Perp and Lil Pump are some figs. The, the one thing about that, him taking a whole year to speak about it, that's why I'm kind of like, hmm... You could just be looking to get clout because you see other people are doing the same thing. So you're like, fuck it. That's why it took a year. But you could also just be one of them niggas like, man, no, I ain't about to. I ain't going to let that shit bother me. Time go on. Gucci gang go number one. This nigga having shit, like really having shit. And you just like, damn. Fuck this nigga, man. Like basically is, I don't know. I definitely can see it because he says in his video, Zans change people, fucking clout change, whatever. He's right. Like, if you take Zans in moderation, <clears throat> but if not, them shits will affect you, my niggas. But hold on, let's just get back into it. Showing him any type of love or anything like that because he is the reason why they are so famous today. And he actually did post something on Instagram a couple days ago. And he said, I've been quiet for a whole year trying not to lose my cool. This music industry is so fake. I have so many things to say, but Lil Pump was basically my little brother. Zan's changed people in so many ways. Zans. I was there before the first show ever happened. All the disrespect and discredit that these two have given me is disgusting as a human. I would have never thought my own family would turn after I taught you everything, after I gave your family shelter when they needed it, after all the times you ran away and... Real spill. This is... I, I definitely feel him on this because it's not like he's just up here like, man, you left me, you're getting money now, and you haven't even broke me off any money. It ain't like he's even bringing up money or anything. He's, he's talking about how the music industry fake and they will make you... Not even fuck with your own family type shit. Like, 
if I'm him and I'm to, uh, mentoring two of my little niggas, you know what I'm saying, and they do their own thing and blow up, that's fine. If they blow up and cut me out the picture and say I'm too old for them and all this and that, hell yeah, I'm going to be feeling some type of way. You would talk to was me whenever you needed something, I was there. Your ego and the selfishness is just another level. Both of you are lame for the rude and ridiculous comments you make about me. What's even funnier is that your first interviews are still up. And all the fakery doesn't fool none of these good people. I did look up their interviews. Hashtag, this is the only the beginning, my friend. All right, so basically what he's saying is that Lil Pump and Smoke Perp have completely betrayed him and forgot about him after they got some fame. Obviously, as we do... Oh, uh, yeah, this is a video about, like, Lil Pump hate, but congratulations to Lil Pump going motherfucking stupid this year. I'm telling you. This nigga, everybody... How does this record go uh, number one in the country? And he repeated Gucci Gang 247 times. Because, bitch. Simple as that. Because, bitch. He made that shit sound nice. And he got motherfuckers. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. They ain't singing your, your lyrical shit. Like, nigga, they ain't singing that shit. They want something simple to rock to. Ominous is really Lil Pump's cousin, so to see that his own family member is not rocking with him is kind of, you know, very sad to see that because oh, yeah, that's definitely usually sad. you try to help your family out as much as possible, but Lil Pump is not helping out his cousin Lil Ominous, even though he is the reason why Lil Pump and also Smoke Perp are a duo, like I said. Now, Lil Ominous did continue with this entire topic because he did post something else where he shows all these different interviews from Smoke Perp where he describes how he met Lil Pump, and obviously he did say... All right, all right, hold on. I, I ain't even about to be a lazy nigga and, and not read that. Hold on, let me read this shit, because it's in a way. Yeah, let me let me actually read that. Oh, now I'm okay. All right. Fuck Zans, they change people. So does fame, honestly. Sad as fuck how all the interviews change over time. It shows all the fakery going on behind the scenes. He said, I'm too old, LMF, LMFL. We chilled every day, and everybody from the hood knows this. I ain't here trying to get attention. I could care less, but the fakery needs to stop. People act like I never did shit for them, like I never took them to the studio, like I never transported other artists in Florida to keep them. Sometimes I don't, I can't see because it's shit in the way, but have enough bread for something. I looked out for them, for this bullshit to be said, nigga. The fuck? I ain't 35 years old. Like you trying to make it seem? Keep faking it. I'm going to be real to my people and to my city. Low ominous. And not once in that did I see anything about like, you ain't breaking me no bread, bro. That's typically what niggas be on. That's that fake shit. That is that fake shit. He just wants the respect. Like, niggas ain't respecting them. I completely feel it. All these different interviews from Smoke Perp where he describes how he met Lil Pump. And obviously he did say that his cousin did introduce both of them. And well, after a while... He said that they stopped kicking it because he was too old. Now, this is where Lil Ominous got so mad, and he responded and said, he said, I'm too old. We killed every... Damn it, Jerbog. I just read all that shit for no damn reason. Dang, everybody from the hood knows this. I ain't trying to get attention. I could care less, but the fakery needs to stop. If my reading was fucked like up, y'all can hear him. Them, like I never took them to the studio. Like, I never transported other artists in Florida to keep them connected or interview connection, which they did have no idea what big impact that brings. Taking them to the shows, helping both of them when they ain't have enough bread or something. Oh, there we go. I looked out for this bullshit to be said. Dude, I ain't 35 years old like you try to make it seem. Keep faking it. I'm going to be real to my people. And also, before we keep going on with this video, the real reason I had to do this video... I commented on uh, Jabal's post saying like, oh yeah, I believe a little ominous because Zans do change people, yada, yada, yada. Even though I ain't know who the fuck Lil ominous was. That's crazy. I guess I got cloud on YouTube or something to where a motherfucker see when I comment. Lil ominous hit me up and was like, yo, this is a small world, bro. And I'm like, like what? what the hell are you talking about? How? You messaging me? Oh, shit. But then he, he's like, you know who I am? As I was seeing this before, he looked familiar. I'm like, yo, this nigga look familiar. Oh, I guess I'm just thinking a little pump or something. 
I made a song with this nigga like six, seven years ago. Like probably when I was like 14, 15 type shit. Made that shit with him years ago. He wasn't even going by Lil Ominous. I ain't trying to expose him right now, but his his name was Cyberwolf. If you look up LV Cyberwolf, you'll find me and Lil Ominous like years ago. The song was whack, but you know what I'm saying? We was together. But this shit crazy. This shit's crazy that you don't, that the world is that small. That I was speaking with this nigga seven years ago. Lil Pump wasn't popping seven years ago. Like, sh niggas will blow any day. Like, if you're watching this, you trying to blow, your time could be tomorrow. Like, someone could randomly see one of your posts and be like, oh, this is great. Let me repost this. Clout. Y'all just got to keep putting in work. Pity, a little ominous, all right? So obviously he's so pissed because Smoke Perp is making it seem like he's 40 or 50 years old. And pretty much that's why he's so mad because he's saying that he stopped hanging with him because he was too old, right? So that's kind of some unexpected stuff. Now, usually when somebody does switch up on another individual, it's most likely their friend or whatever. But this time, this is a real family member, which is a little Should ominous. Be like that. Also, he is a rapper as well, so... That's how probably Lil Pump got into the music because of his cousin, and that's why he's so pissed because he's not getting yeah, that shit, the love. Yeah, that shit crazy just seeing him now. Back then, I think he had, like, some long-ass motherfucking Peruvian motherfucking Prince hair. I swear, I was jealous of that nigga's hair. His shit looked curly. That nigga shit was grown, man, I swear. But, nah, the world is small as hell. He needs to be getting after a while. So that's why he's been quiet for a very long time. But now he really spoke out and is exposing Smoke Perp and Lil Pump for switching up on him big time. And that is it for this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this entire situation. Lil Pump's cut. Hit that like button. Subscribe. All right. All right. That's that video. This was just posted by Jabal because I wanted to check this case out more. This was posted eight hours ago. So... Let's check this one out. New video that's coming from Lil Ominous and Smoke Perp. Now, if you guys have watched the last video, then you probably know about the entire situation where Lil Pump's cousin, Lil Ominous, came out saying that Smoke Perp and Pump are some complete fakes because they got fame and they just left them behind. And pretty much is the reason why they started. And if y'all don't believe that, if y'all feel like this is just one of them things like, oh, he's just trying to get some clout. You see, I, I might be tripping. Saying that smoke, you perp see right and here. Lil Pump's cousin, that's Lil Pump. Ominous that's him. Saying that smoke, perp, and like they both in the same room, like because they got fame and they just left them behind. He know him. and pretty much is the reason why they started being around each other because he brought Lil Pump around smoke, perp, and that's when they decided to be best friends. Well, smoke, perp seems to have seen that video that I uploaded a couple days ago because he did respond to Lil Ominous where he did send him a. DM through Twitter and he responded and said bitch ass boy see you soon so pretty much smoke perp is saying here that he's gonna pull up on little ominous yeah little ominous tripping all right that's too long of a damn message to really handle this entire situation well that's when little ominous responded to smoke perp and he said funny you mad for being fake as fuck see you soon boy you fake as hell talking shit about me to double xl and hot new hip-hop i ain't scared of you little bitch ass boy you tried me, I sacrificed time, money, and life for you, so do as you please. But I ain't no bitch. I'ma keep defending myself from you, fake ass shit. All you had to do is not talk down on me, but you did. Anyways, so fuck you. I'ma be up soon. Be ready. So from the looks of this entire situation, it looks to me like Smoke Perp and Lil Ominous are really going to get down because Smoke Perp really wants to see what Lil Ominous has to say to his face. Now look. I don't want to sound like just a hater, but I don't feel like they're going to get up. I don't feel like they're going to. I just feel like this is one of them rapper shits. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to see you here. I'm going to do this. But if they do fight, let me know. I will react to it. But, yeah, that's just one of the things I don't feel like is going to happen. 
say some other things on this picture. He said, you see how lame this dude is shaking my head like you talk shit. Then you get mad when dudes defend themselves. And then he said, ask Smooth Perp, keep my name at your mouth. So he tagged Smooth Perp so he can see this whole thing because now he is claiming that he's going to pull up a little ominous after he did say that he was switching up on him after they got fame. All right, that, that right there, that was, that was a little... A little iffy, uh, I don't know, that was a little 12, like, I don't know about releasing screenshots, cause, you know what I'm saying, that was basically, um, perp threatening him, I guess, and then, you know what I'm saying, he put it on the internet, yeah, yeah you know. Little pump, but Lil Pump has still not responded. So we're gonna see what happens with this entire situation because Smoke Perp really wants some beef with Lil Ominous. Now, along with that message of Smoke Perp responding to Lil Ominous, that's when Lil Ominous did reach out to me and gave me more info on Smoke Perp. And he said, Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. He want to keep playing. I have a video of him getting slapped up in the real hood he's from. He aimed for Miami Garden. All right, so he's pretty much. There's a video out of Smoke Perp getting smacked up in his own hood. Whoa. All right now. Wanting to expose Smoke Perp because I guess he's claiming to be from another hood that he's not from. And Lil Ominous knows exactly what Smoke Perp is really about because obviously he's been around him for a very long time and before he even got some fame. So now that he's switched up on him, he really wants to expose Smoke Perp for the person he really is. So we're going to see what happens with this entire situation because I know this situation is going to be very interesting on what's going to happen after Smoke Perp said he's going to pull up on him to see what he's really about. And that is it for this video. If Smoke Perp don't pull up on a little ominous, then he ain't about to smoke. Like, he just perp. Like, if he's gonna say he's gonna pull up or whatever, man, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta keep it gangster. Smoke Perp kept it gangster. He just kept it to the DM, you know what I'm saying? Just... When I see you, I'm see you type shit. Well, I mean, this kind of did some other shit posting up the, the shit, you know what I'm saying. But, at the end of the day, y'all see. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see that it, this ain't just a nigga that's like, yeah, fuck Lil Pump, fuck Lil Pump, this, this. This is an internal problem. Like, there's actually some shit going on. So, that's why... Like, I typically don't try to do videos on other motherfuckers just like, oh, yeah. Like, hella people was dissing YBN not mirror when he, when he started blowing up. Just, they don't know the nigga. They just wanted to diss him because he's blowing up. This isn't one of them situations. Like, so, yeah. Uh, and me, personally, I don't got a problem with Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, Lil Armin. There's nobody. I'm just sitting, simply sitting here instigating this shit, basically, at the end of the day. Uh, so yeah, uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube, I'm out. I'm famous with the chicken and the biscuits. I feel like Bojangles with his grease. I be dripping. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. I dripped on my shoes. Now them hoes really kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. I feel like Bojangles with the chicken and the biscuits. Uh. Yeah, bitch, I got the chicken and the biscuits. Roll running for and fast. I fucked around and got a ticket. Never been the type of nigga flexing for some bitches. If I'm piecing some shit that I want, then I'ma get it.